You've just been told that you have diabetes. You think to yourself, what am I gonna eat? Will I ever be able to have chocolate again? Or cake on my birthday? Or pie on Thanksgiving? These are all valid concerns and fears. But fear not, your eating life as you know it is not over. Let's start with the basics. There are three major nutrients in our food. We have carbohydrate, protein, and fat. Carbohydrate is the main nutrient that affects our blood sugar levels. Foods that contain carbohydrates include grains, such as breads, cereals, pasta, and rice, starchy vegetables, such as corn and peas, winter squash, potatoes and beans, milk and yogurt, all our fruits, and of course, our sweets and desserts. The goal of the diabetes meal plan is not to avoid carbohydrates altogether. Your body needs carbohydrates as an energy source. The goal is to balance your carbohydrate intake at meals and snacks. This is a water bottle that contains 20 ounces. If I was to put 40 ounces of water in this water bottle, it would overflow and spill on my desk, which would not be a good thing. Imagine that you have a water bottle inside you and it can hold a certain amount of carbohydrate at one time. If you put too much carbohydrate in the water bottle, it will spill over and that spillover is what we call high blood sugar. We want to avoid that. We want to space out our carbohydrate intake so that we don't overflow our water bottle. In between meals, the water bottle will empty and be ready again for more carbohydrate. So it isn't that you only get one carbohydrate at one meal. You can have carbohydrates throughout the day. It's the portion or the quantity of carbohydrate that you take in at one time that matters the most. 